Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. Here we are on a one of Wednesday. Happens to be in a box. I know this is a one of Wednesday because uh, I bought it on eBay and I don't have one. I, b I believe this is an eBay purchase. Maybe it wasn't. Yeah, I think it was. Anyway, let's see what we got today. Uh, if you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up. We are uh, coming from, this package came from Tampa FL. That's Tampa, Florida. Yes, sunny Florida. It's always sunny in Florida. You always thought it was uh, Philadelphia, but it's uh, Florida. <laughs> All right, I'm excited about this. I, I purchased this. Oh, check it out, man. This came in a R Rover left-hand drive. I don't know what that is, but uh, it's uh, what I got was not fragile, but it's neat that this came... Obviously, this is a Land Rover in here because, you know, you're watching Roverland. It came in a Land Rover uh, box, and I think this is an official Land Rover box. Uh, usually, they're printed, well, back in the day, they used to be printed with the Land Rover Genuine Parts. So, but that's a Land Rover Genuine Parts type sticker there. Ha! Huh, cool! Yeah, I did not notice that... Uh, when I picked it up from the post office. All right, let's get into it and see what we've got. You guys are gonna enjoy this one. Oh, by the way, I was going to mention, this is very heavy. This is a very heavy box, okay. So it's like uh, almost five inches, four and a half inches by uh, four, three, three, four inches. Uh, by uh, seven inches, okay? So you kind of got the dimensions there. Uh, smaller than a shoe box, but it's very heavy. And it came to uh, two pounds. Yeah, zero ounces. So uh, very heavy box. So does that give you a clue on what it is? No. All right. Well, I'll, let's uh, get it open and see what it is. I've seen these. I... Uh, always wanted one of these and it came across one that had a pretty decent price oh hey check this out this is awesome this is awesome so yeah this I, I think this is the actual box this I think is the actual box that this thing normally comes in from Roverland or from, from Land Rover yeah, check this out. Get this going here. Oh, we gotta pull it a little bit. The mirrors are catching it, I think. All right, all right. Ba bam! Check this beauty out. This is a Land Rover Range Rover in pewter. Yes, I do not. Um, well, I have little pewter. Uh, toy uh, game pieces. They're they're pewter, but nothing like this. Not a um, display model of pewter. So this is awesome. Yeah, cheese balls. This is great. So this is nothing but pewter, and uh, I'm not really sure how they make such a thing. Uh, molded pewter. Do they put it together somehow? You know, like cast the bottom and then they cast the top and then they they put it together because, wow, it's got a the deck in there. Obviously no windows in this, um, but every square inch of this cubic inch is pewter. Yes, and we can kind of see on the bottom there that you can see that it has uh, detailed uh, under, yeah, underneath is all detail. Oh, look at the tread on the wheels. That is cool. 
That is cool. I I am totally oh so I think I know do they do they make like the body comes over? I think they cast the body and then they cast the what would be the interior and running running gear and then it slips over and then you can't see where um the seam is i'm sorry i'm looking at the model and not looking at the camera here but uh wow oh it's got the traditional tri what is the triangle hubs yeah i want to say that's how they do that and then the body is uh uh polished I think they add those mirrors on separately too. But anyway, this is uh, this is the first pewter model uh, display model that I have. The, and as you set this on your desk, uh, Land Rover, Range Rover. I think they advertise this as a Discovery, and and it, obviously it's not. But uh, unique tires. So what is this? Uh, 2001, 2003, right? Uh, boy, I'm not familiar with my Range Rover. It's the second generation Range Rover. Uh, uh, right after the classic Range Rover. So is that 2004, 2006? Unpainted, bare metal. Awesome. Let's take a look at actually what kind of size this is. So uh, we're talking almost four inches long. And what is it? Oh, inch and three quarters wide. Yep. And then let's get this uh, around. I want to be careful. I don't want to scratch this nice wood plaque that it's on. And then about an inch and a half. About an inch and a half tall. Yeah. So this is awesome. I really, really uh, like this. You can see some of the uh, pewter, you know, pewter is a pretty malleable uh, metal. It's not the strongest thing in the world, but it, it casts well. You heat it up. I think it has a low um, melting point uh, to liquid, and that's why there's a lot of things made with pewter, but it's heavier than uh, aluminum. And if you want to know what the periodic table for pewter is, uh, you have to do to Google. <laughs> yeah, your friend Dano is not going to tell you that. But yeah, nice details. You know, they got like the tailpipe there. I really like the tread pattern on the tires. That's that's a unique uh, UK um, tread pattern. Got a deck lid. I would think that that... See, now this is where I think this is the seam here. So the body... Uh, that goes over the rolling chassis, the interior. This is part of it. Um, kind of, uh, I'm not saying that this is the highest quality pewter uh, <laughs> model out there, but uh, yeah, very, very cool. I'm just kind of tugging on that, wondering if it comes apart. I wonder how they glue it. Now, I thought there was some glue on this rear tire, but that's not glue, that's... Uh, that's uh, pewter, and I wonder if they use uh, hot pewter to kind of glue them together. Um, one of the things, you, I don't know if you can really see it with the lighting and everything, but they're in, in this wheel well here, uh, right about where that pencil is, is you can see a gap. I don't think I can shine my light in there. So yeah, so that's how they do it, is the running gear and the... Uh, under underneath and the interior are molded solid and then they can do the roof and um, the you know window openings and everything are okay to do that but yes very very accurate as far as um, light configurations you know the the trim line and the uh, uh, body bumpers there on the door I'm not too sure about this indentation here or this added bulk here on the bumperette and that three-quarter panel there I've never really seen it quite like that but that could have been a yeah 
but three, three high bucket seats in there. I don't know if we can really get in there and see that. The uh, center seat really is kind of uh, not molded very well, but it's got a little uh, steering wheel in it. It is a left hooker, and that steering wheel I think is obviously an add-on. They just go ahead and um, uh, stick that in there. But yeah, I don't think the seats are adjustable. Has a little brake handle in there, and that's sticking right up. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Okay, well, that's it. I've, I'm mesmerized here, guys. We're already 10 minutes into it. Um, boy, that gas filler, I think the, I think in the States it was down further. I know that North, North Divide, the Great Divide Edition had it up higher, and then later on it was down higher. But anyway, there we go. I got to get out of here. It's over 10 minutes of the video. Thank you for joining me. Nice moonroof in there. Yes, this is sweet. A one of Wednesday, a pewter, and it looks like it came right within the uh, actual Land Rover uh, boxing. So that is awesome. Now I'm going to keep that. All right, this is your friend Dano. I got to get out of here. You got to get on with your hump day Wednesday. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.